Hello and welcome to Doctor Story. Every human being has a right to the enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of physical and mental health. Individuals and couples have the right to decide the number, timing, spacing of their children. Infertility can however negate the realization of these essential rights. Addressing infertility is therefore an important part of realizing the right of individuals and couples to become a family. With this please welcome Dr Abdul Basit MD in gynecology MR Cog from UK with more than 12 years of practice he did his post doctoral fellowship in reproductive medicine and currently is working at Cloud9 Tnagar Chennai a warm welcome doctor and i hope all is going well at your end yeah everything is well how about you Ah, everything is going great here as well sir thank you so much so doctor starting with this topic please help us understand what is infertility and how do we define infertility so infertility um, you know when we define infertility we say that uh, when the couple are having regular unprotected sexual intercourse uh, for about a year that is they are trying for a year with regular sex and they are not able to conceive that is when we deem them to be uh, subfertile or infertile and uh, this one year period is not for everybody okay. if suppose they do have some medical problems like you know they've had some uh, cancer radio surgery radiotherapy or chemotherapy when they were very young or when they've had uh, any surgeries in their genital areas which can hamper or uh, reduce their potential to become pregnant or if they have some sexual dysfunction they are not able to have regular sex you know they may okay. need evaluation earlier on uh, rather than wait for the one year period uh, which we usually prescribe for all the other people right so one probably don't need to see a healthcare provider unless they have been trying regularly to get pregnant for at least one year right so are there any so the regular people? yes regular sex is at least two or three times in a week so some people you know have the habit of just tracking their ovulation period and just yeah. having sex around that time and then call, uh, you know coming to us saying that they're not able to conceive so regular is at least not really tracking the fertility period but then having at least two three times in a week sex in a week and then trying for about a year and not becoming pregnant and then they come to us uh, with the diagnosis of infertility okay okay so are there any signs or symptoms where one should not delay seeing their healthcare provider when they are trying to become pregnant yeah usually for men when they do have some sexual dysfunction or when they have some surgeries in their genital areas they've had some problems in the genital areas for which they have had medical attention any chemotherapy you know which we give for cancer uh, or radiotherapy uh, or men who have uh, uh, any medical disorders like long standing diabetes etc you know they may need to see the doctor earlier on and just perform a semen analysis or any blood test to know that you know everything is going on well properly and uh, for the woman if she is not getting her periods regularly that is a sign which says that they are not ovulating properly every month or if they've had any uh, infections vaginal or uh, you know genital tract infections in the past which can hamper their fertility potential or if they also have some sexual dysfunction they are not able to have sex you know for example like vaginismus where uh the muscles around the vagina undergo intense contraction during the time of penetration and they are not able to have sex at all mm. so we do get people of that sort also but they are not aware that they are supposed to come and see the doctor earlier on instead of wait for the one year so these are some of the things which we tell or if they have a lot of pain during their periods you know which is usually having a, a little bit of mild pain during your first day of your period is quite normal but then if it starts before your period it's there during your period and then it settles only after your period stops and it's very severe uh it's generally better you know to have a basic scan done to see if there's any other issue which is uh, 
the reason for them having such severe pain and also their bike can hamper their ability to become pregnant mm-hmm. so if we if we again talk about the current fertility rate for india in 2022 presently it's 2.159 per birth as compared to 2.220 i think in 2018 what can be the issues that cause such decline according to you so um what we see is that as uh, we become more technologically advanced and we as a human species evolve um some scientists do say that this is also a mechanism of ev- uh, evolution okay uh, in that w- what i'm trying to say is the men their sperm concentrations gradually are de- is declining Mm-hmm. so previously when we said that the normal sperm concentration is about 20 million per annual we have reduced it to 15 and gradually maybe in another 10 years we we'll reduce it to 10 because in the general population the sperm concentration is gradually reducing the motility is gradually reducing mm-hmm. and we do come across women who have reduced ovarian uh, uh antral follicle that is the egg uh, numbers are reduced that is they undergo premature menopause earlier on so if a lady is supposed to have her menopause around 45 to 50 she may have the menopause at 30 35 you know that's quite abnormal but then that's how we see so many patients coming to us with infertility and with these issues so it may be because you know nature is trying to tell us you know control your population and gradually doing all these things to reduce mm. the population but we really don't know what is the reason the other reason could be that uh, you know we as a society are gradually going into late marriages mm. and even if you become married late you tend to put off childbirth for another 5 6 years so by the time you start planning pregnancy it may be 35 36 that is the time that your ovarian age this uh, ovarian capacity the egg numbers in your ovary start declining and at around 40 there is a sharp fall and along with this coupled with this there are certain lifestyle choices that we make in terms of smoking uh, alcohol recreational drugs which can bring down your fertility uh, a sedentary work lifestyle where we don't move about so much and we tend to uh, our bmi tends to go up and that can also shut down some of the reproductive functions in your body so these are some of the things which are the reason why the infertility incidence is gradually increasing in our society mm. so how do then doctors treat fertility what are the different treatment options for men and women separately so initially when they come at about uh, after a year of trying and uh, they tell us that they're not able to become pregnant what we do for the man is just take a detailed history you know from their childhood to now to see if there are, there is any alarming sign that we can pick up uh, and uh, we need to direct the treatment in that direction but if everything is okay then we ask him to do a semen analysis initially based upon the semen analysis if we do find any abnormality in the semen analysis we do further investigations depending upon what we find in the semen analysis so for the man it is quite easy they just have to produce a sample of uh, semen mm. they are done but for the female um, we have to assess if the ovarian capacity the egg numbers are normal which we can do with the help of a scan as well as a blood test we have to assess if the tubes are open which can be done by our keyhole surgery or something uh, called a hst which is actually an x ray and then we need to see, uh, do a basic blood test also to see if all the hormones are normal and everything else is okay so this is how we basically evaluate and try to pick up the problem and based upon what we find we further investigate them in those lines coming to the treatment which is available 
uh, it largely depends upon what the problem is. So it's very difficult for me to generalize and tell, you know, that this would be the treatment for all of them. Mm-hmm. But then I will uh, give you a framework of what we do in a fertility clinic. So initially, when we see the patient, if they are a suitable candidate, we just give them some medicines and injections for the female to grow eggs properly and then track the uh, egg growth with the help of a scan and then we ask them to have try to have intercourse around the time of ovulation okay so this is called ovulation induction with timed intercourse okay so if this fails for about four five cycles we try and it fails then we go some onto something called as intrauterine insemination. This is also like timed intercourse. Only thing is, what we would be doing is around the time of ovulation, we would collect a sample from the husband, the semen sample from the husband. We would process it, remove all the good sperms, and inject it directly into the uterus. But for IUI to work, it is basically a very simple process. It's not something very complicated. And mm. most of the things are happening naturally inside the lady's body. But the only thing that we are doing is we are just helping the sperms reach the egg, uh, you know, mm-hmm. making it easier for the sperms to reach the egg by depositing it closer to the fallopian tube. Uh, and uh, we try this for about two, three cycles. And then uh, if this also fails, then we ask them to go for IVF or ICSI. Okay. So IVF is in vitro fertilization and ICSI is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. So I will tell you what is the difference between IVF and ICSI. Mm. IVF is we, uh, we give, again, we give the lady a few injections for about 10, 12 days for the eggs to grow. And then when the eggs grow, we collect the eggs from the lady's body. And then in the lab, we take the husband's semen sample, wash it, process it, and mix it with the lady's eggs. So the sperm has to go and fertilize on its own. So there is some component of natural mechanisms acting here also. So this is IVF. Instead of this process happening inside the lady's body, it's happening outside. But in ICSI, when the man's sperm counts are very less, okay, or there are some other mechanisms which prevent fertilization of the sperm, of the egg by the sperm, what we do is we take the sperm, single sperm, and directly inject it into the egg. All this also happen in, happens in an ART lab. So this is the difference between IVF and ICSI. So in, like I said, in IUI, most of the things that are happening are natural mm-hmm. and it happens inside the body. But then when three or four cycles of IUI fail, there is something that we are missing. We are not able to pick up. Okay. And we generally recommend the couple to go for IVF in order to diagnose what the problem is, to see if everything is going on well, and also to overcome the problems. So this is a short uh, framework of uh, what we do in a fertility clinic. Wow. So are there any natural treatments also to reverse infertility and get pregnant naturally, like not getting into IUI or IVF? So uh, the most important thing that I would tell all my patients, irrespective of they want to go for a natural Uh, they want to increase their chances of conceiving naturally or they want to go for some ART procedure is concentrate on their lifestyle choices. Like I said, you know, stop smoking, stop, moderate your alcohol intake. If you can stop it, well and good. Stop doing recreational drugs, concentrate on what you uh, eat, like have a balanced, nutritious diet and regular physical exercise, you know, to maintain a healthy behavior. You don't have to grow muscles and become mm-hmm. a model, but then have a healthy BMI. You know, this will give you a lot of positive energy, not only with regards to fertility. You know, it will improve your confidence as well. And the way you interact with your partner will also be different. And then you will gain confidence that, yes, you will be, no matter what, whether you go for a natural conception or a ART procedure, you will be okay with the outcome. Okay, that is the basic idea. 
In fact, in UK, they refuse to do ART treatment for anybody who is more than 30 BMI. So they tell them you first go reduce your BMI and then come. Then only you become eligible for ART mm. treatment. We don't do that because we are not that uh, cruel here. <laughs> but still, it's good to you know to for us to and educate them about uh, proper lifestyle choices. And um, also the other thing that I wanted to I usually stress upon on my patients is that no matter the problem lies in the man or the woman, they have to understand that they are a unit and they have to support each other you know, not try to blame one another because when, um, in fact, when results are negative, like when you do mm -hmm. an IUI or an IVF and you don't fall pregnant, they start blaming each other and they start fighting with each other, you know, that sort of brings down uh, the team uh, spirit. Okay, mm -hmm. so they need to support each other and they need to know that the other person is there for them. Uh, so that would also, you know, increase the uh, conception rates. Why I'm saying is because this brings down stress. And when there is a lot of stress, what happens is your body goes into survival mode. So when the body is in survival mode, it shuts down the reproductive function. So your body is trying to survive. So it has no energy or no intention to produce another life inside itself. Okay. So keeping the stress levels down is very, very important. In fact, mm -hmm. we have so many patients who are uh, infertile for about six years, seven years, and then they go for IVF or IUI and they fall pregnant. And then immediately in another one year, they become pregnant naturally and come to us. They tell us that, you know, once we had our baby, you know, we were all okay, everything settled, all the stress went off mm -hmm. from our life. Then we were natural, we were normal, and then we just fell pregnant, you know. So the stress is a very major factor which you have to control in your life. So the other way of controlling this is to enroll yourself into other activities like yoga and meditation, which will really help to bring the stress levels down, as well as, um, you know, concentrate on other things in your life and not put your entire focus on fertility. Yes, having a baby is important, but not at the cost of your health and your mental peace. So these are the things that I would tell a couple that, uh, you know, they want to try naturally and see. And an interesting fact that I would like to state is that, like I said, one year uh, is a time that uh, we arbitrarily take as a time uh, to diagnose that they have infertility, okay? So if 100 couples start trying to become pregnant today, January, then um, by December, about 80 couples would conceive, okay? So remaining 20 couples, if they try for another year naturally, out of the 20, another 10 couple would conceive. So only the 10 would really need treatment. Hmm. Okay, so what I would suggest is you go for the infertility evaluation at the end of one year, do a basic test. If everything is normal, you can try to conceive for another one year based upon your doctor's guidance. And then if you don't fall pregnant at the end of two years is when you actually need to go into treatment. So this is a very important thing to remember uh, is that at the, one of one, at the end of one year, you have to evaluate yourself before you try for another year. Because if mm. there is some problem and then you keep trying, you are definitely not going to become pregnant. Okay. So these are some of the ways that you can try to become pregnant naturally. Yes. Well, indeed. It, it's been such an enrich enriching discussion addressing such an important topic well thank you so much for joining it's time to end the discussion now we truly appreciate the time you took off for all of us thank you so much doctor thank you so much i had a wonderful time talking to you and uh, hopefully we'll meet up uh, in the future for further such discussions definitely definitely thank you so much